Hey guys, Dragon here from MuseShop.net and today we're talking about the full screen lightbox menu Muse widget. It's the first widget in the Muse Pro menu series by MuseShop.net and this simple widget allows you to create these beautiful full screen lightbox menus. The main idea behind this widget was to fix the issues I was having when working with the built-in lightbox widget which is not that great for a menu because it won't disappear when you click on a link and this is not very good especially for the one page type websites and even more so for mobile devices. So let me just show you what I'm talking about here. Now what I have here is a typical Muse lightbox widget where I placed my menu items and I linked these individual items to my anchor points on my one page website and when I preview that everything works good I can open my menu but when I click on a link it takes me to the destination but it doesn't disappear and this can be pretty confusing especially on mobile devices so instead of navigating in the dark we've created something like this so let's see how it works Firstly you can drag the widget on the canvas. So we have the three components. That's the widget itself. This is the trigger that opens the menu. And here we have the menu items. Now the first thing you want to do is to have a dedicated layer in the layers panel exclusively for your menu so you could work with it. And so you can always be sure that the menu will be on top of everything else. So if I click on my menu items, you can see over here that I have a master menu layer, which you'll also have if you're using one of our themes or if you're using the default Muse shop Muse file. But if you don't have it, create a new layer over here and drag it to be on top of everything else. I usually keep my content in the content layer. So if I turn that off, now I can work with my menu and if I need to work with this section of the page and the menu is bothering me, I can simply turn it off like this and work on my hero section. This widget comes with a default menu which you see over here. The important thing to know is that it has only the menu items so no sub menus. This is a simple, easy and quick widget to work with. For bigger menus I would recommend our ultimate Muse responsive menu widget. Okay so what you have here are the menu items and you also get a social menu which you can of course use for different purposes if you want. To install these icons you should google installing icon fonts in Muse. We have a separate tutorial on installing icon fonts in Muse which you can find either on our YouTube channel or on our website under video tutorials. Other than the menu itself we have the trigger and this is just a plain rectangle. The important thing about that is the width is 38 pixels and the height is 37 pixels and that's only important if you want to use our animated hamburger menu over here but if you want to use your custom icon you can do whatever you like with this. Now as I said you can use these menu items and link them to whatever you want. You can also delete them, add new ones, uh, restyle them. You have the complete freedom to edit these items as you like. But one thing to keep in mind is the graphic style that controls them. It's called FQM-Master and for these icons they all have their own graphic style and that's fqm soc one two, three through five. The trigger must have the FQM trigger graphic style and that's it. Now we can go to the widget settings. The first option lets you choose whether you want to use our icon or design your own. I'm going to use our icon for this tutorial so just leave it at yes. And now we have the menu icon styling and let me just show you what the menu icon is. This is it and it has its icon color which you can see right now and it has a background option. You can also add a background to this icon and that's what you control through here and this is the background color. Icon itself has four states and those states are the normal and hover state for both when the menu is closed and for when the menu is open. And you have only two states for the icon color and that's the normal and hover state. So if I set my background color to blue, then I can set my hover to something lighter. 
and when the menu is opened let's set it to purple and a lighter purple or pink in the hover state when the menu is active or open we will leave the icon color in normal state as white and let's just change it to black when it's in hover state so you can see it and let's preview here it is it's blue when i hover it's lighter blue or greenish with the black icon. When I open it, it's purple and it's pink in the hover state when the menu is opened. Okay. The next thing we control is the light box color. By default, we're using a background image for the light box. If I turn this off, we will be able to see the light box color. If you're more for a minimal type design, let's make it gray. And if I preview, here it is. We can also control the transparency of the light box. Let's make it half transparent and let's turn the content layer back on. And now preview. Now, as you can see, we have a transparent light box overlay. And as I mentioned before, we have the image option. If we turn it on, it will load an image as our light box cover. You have standard image options over here. Let's say you want to use a pattern image. Then you can set this as initial, make it left top, set the tiling to yes. This is the setup for a pattern image. And finally, we have the menu entrance animation, which you can set to any of these options. So let's say from top left, this means that our light box will enter from the top left. And when we preview, when I open the menu, it jumps in from the top left and finally let's link our menu items to our anchor points i can again turn off my content layer and let's link this to about us and let's just link this to contact now let's just turn the content layer back on and preview now if i click on about us it takes me to about us i already have the anchor points in position over here as you can see and that's about it. We'll be making more Pro Menu Muse widgets that will allow you to do cool stuff with Muse menus as you can do with this widget, with these beautiful subtle animations. And that's it.